CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations, has issued some guidelines on how to talk about post-jihad events. And they say, please let's not help Islamic State recruit more terrorists by blaming all Muslims for heinous acts. Well, I don't want to blame any Muslims because I don't blame the Muslims for acts of jihad. I blame the doctrine of Islam. And you see, all Muslims share one thing, and that all Muslims includes jihadists or murderers or terrorists, if you have to call them the non-jihad word. And that is, all Muslims have the same doctrine. They have the same Quran, the same Sunnah, the same Sharia. So therefore, what the jihadist has in common with all Muslims is Allahu Akbar, because they all worship the same God. Now, we don't want to blame all Muslims for this, but we do need to understand that they have an underlying ideology which they share. All Muslims share the same ideology, including jihadists. Now, they give us another piece of advice, which is don't call terrorists jihadists. Well, you know, I agree with that. Black Lives Matter has some terrorists within it, but we shouldn't call them jihadists. No, we need to use the duck theory. If it walks like a duck, looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a duck. And so when we see someone who's yelling Allahu Akbar and killing Kafirs, guess what? It's jihad. It is not terrorism. They may include the technique of terror, but they are primarily jihadists. So in this particular case, I agree with the Council on American Islamic Relations. Let's not call murderers terrorists. Let's call them jihadists. And let's not blame all Muslims for the act of jihadists, but let's do understand this. They share the same ideology in common. Every Muslim has within them their ideology jihad. So let's just recognize that and see that all Muslims share the same ideology, including jihad. Thank you.